Over the last year in the foreman community, there has been a huge focus on ensuring the stability of foreman, as well as hundreds of bug fixes and infrastructure updates. As well as this, there were a number of enhancements to foreman. Let's take a look at some of the major features added to foreman since we last met. You can now enjoy a new simplified process of registering hosts. Using a provisioning template, you can register existing hosts to foreman with one single command. If you're unfamiliar with Ruby, it's never been easier to write and customize templates in Foreman. DSL documentation is now available locally, and you can use it to build out templates to suit your infrastructure's needs. In time, the, this documentation will be enhanced to cover all available methods and macros. If you're writing or customizing existing templates with safe mode disabled, you can now preview how the template would render if safe mode was enabled. With this feature, you can ensure that the template renders properly before enabling safe mode across Foreman. A new option has been added, allowing administrators to disable an existing user without deleting them from the system. Disabled users will not be able to log into Foreman, perform any actions if they were already logged in, or access the API. Development has been ongoing in creating a revamped host details page. If you want to take a look at the initial implementation, you can enable the lab feature setting and select new details page from the actions drop down on the host index page. This is still very much a work in progress. If you wish to give feedback on the new implementation or suggestions based on the existing one, please write to us on our community forum. Updates on the host detail page are regularly demoed as part of the community demo. The new Smart Proxy External IP Address Management API allows implementation of IP address management providers. You can now associate a subnet with IP address management plugins that provide IP address management capabilities through external entities. The default installation of Foreman now sets up Puma behind the Apache reverse proxy instead of Passenger. This enables Foreman to use WebSockets as well as unifying the development and production setups. In the past, Foreman was trying to be database agnostic and support multiple databases. That has proven to be very challenging and led to multiple issues. Starting with Foreman 2.0, Postgres is the only supported database. And finally, Foreman is now capable of performing single sign-on with the help of various OpenID providers such as Keycloak or Auth0 using the OIDC protocol. Organizations can incorporate multiple authorization sources. The SSO feature enables an external user to log into Foreman using an OpenID provider. If you've any questions or comments, please feel free to chat to us on the Foreman Community Forum or at the Foreman on Freenode IRC. Thank you very much for your time.